Let me check. Let me check my volume. Let me check my volume. I knew it. Look at that. I'm louder now. Eh? Let's start over again. Welcome to No Enemies Here, the show <clears throat> where professionalism is at its utmost quintessential point. Um, hey, yeah, people. Yep, we're back on Saturday night. Uh, uh, is it Saturday night or Friday night? Friday night, uh, Saturday morning uh, uh, time slot. Look, I've been doing it so long. Uh, how do you expect me to remember everything? Sometimes, uh, you know, you, you, you ask too much of me. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, I got some emails from Tiny Battle Publishing. And what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. A Shattered Union series game from Tiny Battle Publishing. And it's called Bring Out Your Men, gentlemen. And what does that make you think of? Eh, bring out your men. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Monty Python. No, yes, young people, no. And it's the Battle of Brawner's Farm. Huh? You know, the Civil War, the names of the battles, you know, the Battle of the Peach Orchard, the Battle of Silver Creek, the Battle of Marsh Something, and the Battle of Three Pine Forest. I'm just making stuff up. As in Napoleonic battles, you get the Battle of Borodino, the Battle of Waterloo, the Battle of Austerlitz. You know what I'm saying? It just adds a grandiosity. It's like, hey, where'd you fight, man? Oh, I fought in, uh, fought in Austerlitz and uh, got my wound here. And I uh, ask a Civil War soldier, where'd you fight? Well, I fought at Small Creek Down. Yeah. Got me a splinter. I'm joking. For God's sake, man. Alright, that's all. So check it out. This is a Shattered Union, the Battle of Brawner's Farm, and it is now shipping from Tiny Battle Publishing. Alright. And uh, join us this Tuesday coming on the Chit Show, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Ted Racer, hmm? Ted Racer, and we're going to be talking about everything Napoleon and his new GMT game, I, Napoleon, eh? Capish, Be there and comment, say something, and you know what, I dare you, I dare you to, to send me a comment, I don't know what I'm saying, I dare you, I dare you what, I, I dare you nothing. And uh, that's it. Let's see. My other, my other email is celebrate BC Day with a special 25 discount on your order. Use the code BC Day and you get fresh buds. We're in Canada here, man. We get mail like that. You know what I'm saying? So look, peoples. With that said, obviously it's not a big news world thingy uh, and ricardo uh ricardo emailed me said he was very busy very busy he couldn't do a um this day in history and he will reprise his role next month so with that said also um my contributors seek out and play and uh, meandering mike but this was a this was a news given to me by meandering mike uh, seek out and play and uh, a six actual the uh, you send it to me you send the files via uh, we transfer thing is now we transfer is uh, only up there for three days so if you send your file three days well it's up to me to move my ass and get it right away instead of letting it fester in my uh, email column whatever you want to call it so yeah it's, it's, it's notice to me, not to you really, but it's three days. All right, all right. As a matter of fact, I have two seek out and plays. We're lucky today. Two seek out and plays in this, this there, them episode. So uh, I'll see you there, them they.
Here at Noble Knight Games, we've been carefully growing the world's largest selection of tabletop games going on 25 years now. From fresh pick new releases to finely aged vintage classics and hard to find imports, you can buy, sell, trade, and play with us at our store in Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Or shop online 24-7 from anywhere in the world, just like nature intended. Growing fresh daily at Noble Knight Games. You know, I thought about something. I just came to work today and uh, nine o'clock in the morning, very nice time to come to work. It's a little rainy outside. And then I see these guys, they ask me to open up the door, these workers, you know? So um, what they want to take is those empty water bottles for water coolers, right? Here is a deposit of $10 on them. I thought, man, this is a whole truck full of empty $10 bottles. So I tell the guy, hey man, why rob a bank? Just rob your truck. He goes, I just got my truck robbed last week with $10,000 worth of bottles. Why rob a bank? That's just a thought. And here we go, volume all fixed. With the crux of the show. You see what happens, man? As soon as I do something different than my train of thought there, I want to, you know, spontaneously uh, combust there and my thoughts, it doesn't work. The man who looks like a vampire, Mark Felton Productions, has two videos this week. And one of them is, did a German general save Paris? The true story of the 1944 liberation. Also, Nazi saboteurs USA, three missions landed by a U-boat on Mark Felton Productions. Advanced Squad Leader Academy has one video and it is Scouting Report 50, Roads to Rangoon. What's Rangoon called now? Yeah. The Boss, Clark Commando 1983, four videos. Well, more than four, I put four here. Trip down memory lane, Avalon Hill, D-Day 77. That's Axis and Empire. Plus, oh, he says Avalon Hill here. Okay, because I see Axis and Empire on the on the clip. Anyways, Axis Empire's unlimited edition for play four player update. See, uh, it's, something's wrong with my brain today. Axis Empire's Ultimate Edition Four Player Update. There you go. That's how you read, Dan. Plus, Roger B. McGowan book is here, and it's amazing. Mine's in the mail. Plus, Mark, Mark's favorite games, Air Assault on Crete. One of his favorite games. I know Stuka Joe really likes that. Cutesy Bootsy Zella Blitz for videos, Assault on Gallipoli, second edition overview and first look by Hexasim Games. And a monthly update, survey results, discussion, war game and board games channel update. And Coast Watchers designer interview Vocal Runke. Upcoming historical games. Plus 19, 1812, I should say. Napoleon's Faithful March Overview and First Look by Vuka Sims on Zilla Blitz. The Board Games Chronicle 2 videos. Cube for me storage solution for Planta Genet. Then, first look at traces of hubris. And this is a Vuka? Maybe it's Vuka, I don't know. You come here to get your info. That great Canadian child and his legendary tactics. 52,000 subscribers. Actually, 52,400 subscribers. Four videos under Falling Skies, board game reboxing made easy. Plus a G.I. Joe battle for the Arctic Circle. This is a preview. And Axis and Allies, which version do you prefer? And our most anticipated Gen Con games. What games we want to try. So they're going to be at Gen Con, so check them out. Huh? Tell them uh, Dan from uh, No Enemies Here sent you. Huh? Tony! 
of Tony's Bored Life, two videos, Let's Play Nations at War, Stalin's Triumph, with Ruffy. It's a versus game. This is a game by Lock and Wolf Publishing. Then this, Let's Play Hexplore It, the, dom the domain of Mirza Noctis. Blow. I mean, blow. Bloody hell. Blow. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, this is a game uh, with Mike Bertuccelli involved. Mike Bertuccelli is a designer for GMT. Well, for GMT, he has a GMT game called uh, Tank Duel. Plus, a new one coming out, Wolf Something, Something U-Boats by Mike Bertuccelli. Check it out on GMT. Sean Lambert, Napoleon's Eagles, Episode 1, Egypt. That's the only video we have from him. To me, this looks like a uh, video game. When I say video, computer game, whatever you want to call it. Hex to Hex has one video and it's Gettysburg. Last chance for victory. It's the finale. Eh? The name of the game. Three videos. How to play. First bull run. See what I mean? What did you, I fought in the Battle of Bull Run. And where did you fight? I fought in the Battle of Marengo. That's what I'm saying. And how to play Panzer Group Gadarian. And why you should. Why we should play it. Let's say I don't want to play it. What are you telling me I should play it for? Don't tell me what to do. Custom charts for Vassal. Making modules even better. Creating a custom chart. And the name of the game this week. Jan Heinemann of Let's Play History has four videos and two of them are on Strategic Command World War II War in the Pacific. Plus one of them is on Fields of Glory, Kingdoms Multiplayer with a Person and Reorganization of Fields of Glory, Kingdom Community Multiplayer. I probably read that wrong because it's it's written in German, but reorganization is exactly spelt the same way in German and in English. So I didn't know what tone to use in terms of what language, which dialect, what region. Hardwell Slayer, three videos, unboxing great campaigns of the American Civil War, Thunder on the Mississippi. This is by MMP. Also, counterclipping episode 183. This is an OCS deep dive plus GMT and WBC news. And the chit show with Dan and Arnie. I'm Dan. And we were with Bill Kalpak. Molotov, co Molotov Cockatiel of Molotov Cockatiel Games. He, uh, it, it, it's interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. He's got a video game coming out, but... It's on Ancients, and he said it's um, an introductory war game. Or someone said it, and he agreed. Colonel Smitty of Smitty's Game Table, two videos. Smitty unboxes the Black Swan, plus the GDW series, 120 lives again. Or 120 lives again. Series 120, okay, okay. The GDW Series 120 lives again. Unboxing the lovely makeover by Compass Games on Smitty's Game Table. You know, I thought about something today. The fact that we don't see with our eyes, but with our brain, means that if you close your eyes, Whatever, you're, whatever you see in your brain, you're there. So you can actually be in two places at once. Like at once. So look, I'm in Paris on my right hand side, but I'm here on my left hand side. <laughs> Isn't that wicked? For the fourth Wednesday in July 2024, Seek Out and Play presents the special skills and dynamite rules from Gunslinger. 
The video covers optional rule number six, which includes how to use the dynamite so you can blow your opponents to kingdom come in the game. Plus, the rules for sharp and eagle eyes are demonstrated, which expands the ability of players to see and hit targets. Gunslinger is an out-of-print game by Avalon Hill, a man-to-man -man tactical game set in the Old West. Gunslinger offers a wide range of scenarios for those interested in this unique period of history. Check out more videos on Gunslinger when you visit the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. Also, there is the Speak Out and Play monthly podcast that you can find on Buzzsprout and Spotify. Plus, Patreon members get access to new videos and podcasts at least 48 hours in advance. A new video is released every week on the Seek Out and Play channel, so I will see you next Wednesday. ID Jester. Here he is, loads of videos, and I'm going to have some mail, uh, uh, some comment uh, things on the mail uh, probably tomorrow or the day after, and uh, Kurt of ID Jester is uh, there. Okay, so he has eight videos and uh, Wolfpack with Mike Bertuccelli, that's the game I was talking about, then a solo playthrough of Xenoshift Onslaught. Then the Lord of the Rings uh, LCG Living Card Game Campaign plus boxing with Lennox Lewis and Anthony Joshua. Then it's hockey. And then it's a monthly recap. Then it's an overview tutorial of uh, Replay Sports PC program and what I can do or what it can do. Then it's Night of the Zealot from Arkham Horror the Ghouls Hunger on ID Jester. Ticanis George, Ticanis, huh? Um, what is it? Uh, Calimera or Calispera, wherever you are. George Yotis is the Leonidas of ASL, and he has one video, and it's called A Justice for Advanced Squad Leader. Check out George's channel. He's got a sense of humor. A faristo, George. On Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials, one video and it's Burnside Takes Command. Scenario number four, the Fredericksburg Campaign. So it's Patrick Pence as the Union versus Roger Kilson as the Confederate. Session number, he says session number four. Scenario four, session number three. Gabish <laughs> On Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials. Cody of the Discriminating Gamer, four videos he looks at horrified Greek monsters. They're all monsters, I say. And uh, Neopets Battle Dome training card game unboxing with Ray. Plus DC DBG rivals. Shazam versus Black Adam. A I, 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 I guy from from uh, Europe uh, and then and some remote country he wants to learn English. Okay, let's learn English. Okay, so today we're playing DC DBG. Come on, Cody. Help me here. Plus, the Mandalorian Adventure unboxing with Ray. All of this on the Discriminating Gamer. On the Tank Museum, the evolution of airborne armor. That's right. On Hexed Encountered, four videos, Night Fighter Ace, a game by Gregory M. Smith. This is career game, gameplay number four. And then it's I, Napoleon, a tight racier game published by GMT, gameplay part two. Then it's Knights Over Stalingrad by Legion War Games, a preview. And I, Napoleon, again, campaign, gameplay, a reboot on Hexed Encountered. Pushing Cardboard, three videos for the Empire, an unboxing, excuse me, plus Flanks of Gettysburg, an excuse me, an unboxing, then it's Utah Beach, an unboxing on Pushing Cardboard. The man famously known as Calendar has four videos, and it's 1822 MX3, 2, and 4, and then an interlude. So I'm assuming this is a train game, and train games seem to be fun. 
because when I go to a con like Stack Academy in Montreal, a couple of people are playing train games and it's really involved. Gotta try it. You boater 6582 videos, War in Europe, France 40, Axis Week 3, flanking Paris. Again, again, War in Europe, France 40, Allied Week 3, fortifying Paris. And check out the man who, famous, uh, the man who looks like a vampire, my, um, Mark Felton. I think he's got something on that too. Nanguaya, four videos. The warrior, the warrior army must, makes a final stab at Kales. I can't read that. I'm sorry, Nanguaya. Then Schubert's ninth army. I thought it was ninth symphony. Uh, go for the glory with two massive attacks. November twenty sixth to dot dot dot. Then great war books, great war games, great memories. But the best is great friends. Very nice. Very well said. The final German combat, November 26th to 30th, 1914. Holy cow, the war just started. Nanguay, didn't you... Hasn't it been like five years you've been playing this game and we're still in 1914? Crime. All right. Aaron Plays has eight videos and look at that. Battle him. And mission one, Boomerang, episode number two. And on Battle Him, he's got four uh, videos on Battle Him, episode number two, three, four, and five. Then, the other four videos are Into the Woods, a GMT game. And this game is by, oh my god, I forgot who, who, uh, is it, not Balcal, uh, Balcal, yeah, uh, anyways, I don't know, I know it's published by GMT, but it's Into the Woods, Great Battles of American Civil War, Shiloh, April 6th. 1862. Check it out on Aaron Plays. Respect! Jim Ozarkski has four videos. Ab abuse on the news for O Group. Then Fix and Destroy for Charlie Don't Surf. Then the Battle of Bautzen for Bloody Big Battles. And then Abuse on the News Redo for O Group. All right, Jimmy. Storm of Steel Wargaming, two videos, historical wargaming, a chat with Seven Sun and Yank, Yorkshire Gamer, plus hobby update. The Imperial Guard Cavalry have arrived on Storm of Steel. Gaming with Earl Bitford. Eight videos, World War I Collection Part 3, then The Sun Never Sets, and then a Game Collection Part 14. What happened at Part 4? Maybe that's a mistake. Then it's Crusaders, SCS, April's Harvest, Part 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. All of this is happening on Gaming with Earl Bickford. My Own Worst Enemy, two videos, both on the same subject, and it's Coral Sea Unboxing and Gameplay, and Coral Sea Part 2. This is by third generation Balika Games, I think. Third generation... A Balika third generation, that's it. On my own worst enemy. The final Wednesday in July brings this month's episode of Speak Out and Play. I will talk about the latest entry of the Valiant Defense series, what the Seek Out and Play channel is all about, what is happening in Warfighter Corner, and what is in the works for the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. The podcast goes into more details about the new DVG Kickstarter, which began on July 30th. In addition, I have received the Warfighter Vietnam game by DVG and have created a few videos for it. Also, I open the discussion to suggestions on which game you want to see me do a series of videos for. Check out more Speak Out and Play podcast when you visit the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. You can find the audio version of Speak Out and Play monthly podcast on Buzzsprout and Spotify. Plus, Patreon members get access to new videos and podcasts at least 48 hours in advance. A video is released every week on the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel, so I will see you next Wednesday. Indian Idol's channel World War II, two videos, week 309. Allies issue Potsdam Declaration, World War II, plus Slavic revenge on the Germans. Eesh, that's, that's bad, man. 
that's holy cow if nobody knows about like a, the Battle of Berlin after the Battle of Berlin oh, oh. Uh, Berlin uh, was uh, hell on earth for many years after World War II Kilroy was here with eight videos one video is I Napoleon unboxing and introduction then unmatched Sun's or origin and restoration plus Twilight 2000 and Coffee with Kilroy, my favorite segment, the Game Master's Book of Random Encounters. Ah, yeah. I said something about that. Yeah. And then Micro Macro Crime City Showdown. Then Kids Rock 2024. I think these are all Loompa Loompas. And Stay Behind, setup scenario from Heroes of the Nam by Lock and Load. And Staying Behind after Action Report Lock and Load Tactical Heroes of the Nam by Lock and Load. On Kilroy was here. Juste Garde, three videos. New Arrival, Seven Year War Battle System by Minden and Torgau slash Ad Hoc Games. Then it's 1812 Napoleon's Faithful March by VUCA Simulations and Favorite Games of 2023. Andrew Staga. For our Polish viewers, we have two videos on Combat Commander. One is a scenario number something scenario number five. It's written in Polish, so please excuse me. And the other one is something again. Command Combat Commander. Eh. And then it's a review of Challengers on Voynek TV. The Face with World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel 3 videos. Two videos are on the playthrough of Lone Shermick The Pacific. And one of them is on D-Day Dice 2nd Edition. Beach 10, Strong Point Morris. I enjoy D-Day Dice, okay? You gotta go from side to side, dude. Just can't go straight. Gimpy! Uh, the Gimpy Gamer has three videos. Polygon says crowdfunding is dying. Grit and Valor 1949, a preview. Plus Trench Club Legacy Gameplay Part 2. On the Gimpy Gamer. That wonderful child that is Kings and Generals. Three videos. Rise of Skansberg, Ottoman Empire documentary, and Rise and Fall of Khazar Khaganate, Arab Khazar Wars documentary. Didn't pronounce that right. Indigenous people of Taiwan, Austronesian origins documentary on kings and generals. The Chef, Phoenix Knight, Mystical Munchies. Zock Berry Surprise. Hey, come on, man. I like this stuff. Plus, Gaia Project and Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu on Phoenix Night. Combat Board Games, one video, and it's looking at Home by Christmas, a World War I journaling game by Brent Campbell. Who's Brent Campbell? Combat Board Games is Brent Campbell. Support Brent by the game. That's what I say. Steven Dolges, two videos. I Napoleon, both. A commentary after a couple of plays, plus a review. The review is an hour long, so very in-depth. Check it out. Steven Dolges. Ruffy of Rough Swordsman, more gamer, has three videos. The Tony and Rough Livestream, Nations at War, Stalin's Triumph. Then the War Room Live plays Wolfpack with designer Mike Bertuccelli, part two. And Not a War Game Wednesday. Explore it. The domain of Mersanoptis. On Rough Swordsman Wargamer. Simple History 3 videos. When the US allied with North Korea. And the worst behaviors of dictators. Plus Operation Desert Storm. SAS Point of View. Alright. On Simple History. Agility Snips Gaming Table 2 videos, both on I Napoleon by Ted Racer. And I must I must say something, Ted. That's a beautiful, beautiful cover. 
So it's learning the game and take two part seven, take two part eight on Agility Snips Gaming Table. Dave and his friend Len of Centurions Review. Len, Len, don't do it. Release the patient. Review GMT Games Serpent, Serpents of the Seas. There you go, Len looking very befuddled. Charlie Charles Latora for video, I mean eight videos, get four. More minis ready for mini mar mini war mutts paint challenge. Mini war mutts. Alright, Charlie. Then Avalon Hill, Air Assault on Creek, the drop zone for the Falchim Jaeger have been dot dot dot. Mail call, Yaquinto the Great Redoubt. Borodino. 1812. Model paint purchase. Gross beer in another one. OSG. That's gross beer. Big beers? Gross beer in. It's the first edition ready to start and enjoying his backyard gaming. Meh. Waiting for gamers with coffee. Then again, gross beer in. Lost battles. End of turn one. Then a mail call. American Civil War. Two millimeter. Dang tiny. He says. And why'd you order it? Me, I can't see it. And Avalon Hills Air Assault on Crete, turn one initial Falschim Jaeger landing complete on Charles Latour's YouTube site. Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave, three videos on skies above the Reich. All right, missions one to four. And Tally Ho, phase three, mission seven on Vassal, on Dave's Gaming Cave, on No Enemies Here. Diagonal Move is looking at Compass Games. The lamps are going out. An unboxing. Eric's Table Napoleonic Battles. Two videos. And it's Bar. Battle of Curd in 1757, 5.40 p.m. Turn Part 2. Then it's the Battle of Moscow, 1812, 7.40 a.m. Turn uh, Part 1. On Eric's Table Napoleonic Battles. Gamer's Closet, Doug Weed is looking at Unboxing Horrified World of Monsters. Huh? Okay. And Marco Omni Gamer, ah, that War Gamer, reviews the solitaire game from Worthington Publishing called The War of 1812 Pacific War 1942 Solitaires. These, that's two different games, so. War of 1812 slash and also the Pacific War 1942 solitaire games. Once Upon a Game looks at For the People 25th Anniversary Edition by GMT Games. Published, I mean designed by Mark Herman about 26, 27 years ago. Eh? Eh. Smart War Games, two videos, and it's SWAT for better than ever. And Ready or Not Home Invasion, content and gameplay. Bloody hell. That's not a home invasion, that's an army home invasion. Who gets invaded like that? Except Bin Laden. Maybe that's the game. On Smart War Games. Tabletop Sci-Fi looks at Fallout. New California and Atomic Bond expansions by flying by Fantasy Flight Games, a review and how to play. Check out also the, um, if you're into Fallout, check out the, there's a Primer Netflix Fallout series. Fun, all right? It's fun, that's all. The gentlemen of the players, they talking about fun for videos and they review Battle of the Ides of March by Holland Spiele. Then they're unboxing Road to Independence by Blue Panther Games. And R-A-W, okay, Raw. He says Raw here. So it's BCS Brazen Chariots by MMP and unboxing Maori by Compass Games. On the player's aid. The cop, that is Wayne Hansen, looks at Pacific War 1942 Solitaire, a complete playthrough and mini review plus recon warfighter vietnam solitaire and unboxing a game by dvg 
Wise Guy History has two videos on setting up for War of the Ring with the three main expansions and review of, guess what, War of the Rings with all core expansions on a Wise Guy History. Bad day. Howdy folks, me and Ring Mike, weekly channel update time. The new microphone's having some uh, system configuration issues, feedback and all that stuff, so we're still trying to figure that out. So we're on our webcam microphone, so hopefully you can hear it. Uh, so there is no signal boost this week. Hopefully signal boost will return next week. We have a more traditional week here. As you can see here, we have last week's uh, channel update. Uh, word about the poll that's mentioned there. Uh, if you're hearing this, you might still have time. August 4th is the cutoff date for that poll and uh, you know, making a comment on the reason why you chose which uh, answer that you did on the poll. So thank you very much if you are participating in that. So we have two unboxings this week. One is an old unboxing video, like two-ish weeks ago. It's just now getting through the video queue. That's the one up there on the top. That's uh, a Crisis in Korea. It's from Catastrophe Games. Their new Kickstarter uh, came out, uh, received in the middle of July. Uh, there's actually two games in the box. So you can check that out there. And then our new one that we filmed is actually five unboxings in one. They're miniatures, Painting challenge coming up in September, mini warm ups channel. And so I'm trying to figure out what I want to paint there, trying to find some stuff that doesn't require too much gluing and building. And there's enough time for me to select those stuff, get miniatures built and primed. The painting will start in uh, September, beginning of September. So if you're interested in seeing some Shadows of Brimstone miniatures, check that out there. So as I mentioned, uh, coming up next week, we will have the return of uh, Signal Boost and uh, trying to catch up on the queue. There are certain videos that I've <laughs> worked on a month or more ago, and they're, they're there to be done, but we will continue to try to catch up on those and get various new content done. So thank you all for watching, and I'm going to send you back to Dan Pencaldi. Uh, no enemies here if you're watching from there, and if you're watching here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff. Take care, all, and ciao. Another week, another show. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and support this channel. So, that was that. Huh? A week in gaming on the interweb. I'm going to watch it sitting on my Chesterfield. While having some 
Labrador tea that we picked ourselves on the forest. And you say, the forest tea, I mean, I got... Yeah. You ever have that Cupid cat uh, uh, coffee? Where the cat eats the, eats the coffee bean, shits it out after digesting it. And then people go pick it up. Wash it a little bit, because you got to leave a little bit of the cack on it for, for flavor. And then people get you know, 50 bucks a cup of coffee. Eh, Koopy, Queepy, I forget the cat's name. So don't laugh at me for drinking Labrador tea or pine tea. You know what I'm saying? And I just had some, not gooseberries, but uh, I forget, but they're black. They're, I forget, but they're really nice. They're tiny, they're... It's smoking is very tanny. Really good. Okay. So, I'll see you next week. Maybe I'll see you on Tuesday on the Chit Show, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time with Ted Racier. And we're going to talk about everything Napoleon and uh, his new game, I, Napoleon, and probably a couple of toilet stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. Have a great weekend. Be nice. And I feel like singing a song on my way out like Dean Martin used to do or Carol Burnett there. So anyways, I'm going to spare you that. Have a great weekend.